My name is Rhapsody, welcome back! Darkest Dungeon, specifically the Darkest Rhapsody Estate thereof. We've got a party and a mission. Uh, wait, was I going to the... I wasn't going to the runes! I was going to the world. Oh yes, this makes sense now. Excellent! I have a quick substitution to make of this necromancer's collar. Uh, probably just out for an ancestor's pen, something like that. And then the rest of the party uh, makes sense again. Whew! Huh. Good thing I caught that, because otherwise I was going on the wrong mission. So we're going to be going to the Weald with a low-level party here. Uh, it is headed up by Malbis. Got uh, Peterkor following uh, with Prophet and Krevikor? Krivkor? Not entirely certain on that. Um, but what I do know is that we have to rename one of these because Emin has recently passed on into the other realm. It could either be Pedicor or Krebicor, because Pedicor has Luminous and Steady, both excellent perks. I have a couple of higher level Plague Doctors already. Okay, we'll take uh, Pedicor to Emin. There we go. Uh, and also, now that I have no unnamed jesters and Mothmother is dead, I'm going to rename Pinel as Mothmother 2. <laughs> there. Mothmother the second. Actually, I'm also going to do that to Emin. Emin the second. There we go. Uh, these are names for characters that have been asked for by people who are donating over on Rhapsody Patron, which is uh, patron.com slash Rhapsody Place. All right. Now, probably have a couple people to lock away. Oh, no. It looks like I actually already locked everyone away previously. Treatment ward isn't full up, though, so Mastara should take care of their syphilis. Uh, gotta remember not to put anyone in here who has the Crimson Curse, unless I want everyone in here to have the Crimson Curse. Colin... Bolin... Bochet... Um... Lucky Holder, I'm not seeing anyone with anything that I really desperately want to remove right now. Or... Uh, conversely, lock in. Blood... Good lord. With them? No? Alright, we might need to go down to the very bottom of the party before we find people with things that we want to lock in and or out. Uh, Dismas actually has... Nothing I care about. I guess, like, removing Dud Hitter would probably be a good thing overall, but it's so minimal. Raz actually has Natural Eye, which I'm kind of interested in locking in just to give Raz the... kind of unflappable ability to hit with their stun occasionally. Then we've got uh, Cappy here with... Ooh, Precise Striker is actually really good on a Jester. Yeah, I'll lock that in and I'll lock Lycophobia out. Dysnomia has Prismatic Purity, which is already kind of locked in. Lord, all right. Harry, Harry actually has a couple things that I desperately want to lock in because I want to get the gifted and balanced, sorry, gifted and resilient both locked in so that Harry is capable of constantly removing a ridiculous amount of stress from themselves and healing themselves for a ridiculous amount using absolution. Will not pray or flagellate for self-relief. Okay. Yep, we'll lock in gifted right now. No one else has diseases that we can treat, and everyone in the party already has their highest level equipment. All right, we are ready to go. To the wheels. Oh, you tried to juke me again there. Okay, so we've got Caregiver's Convention, which means that three slots in our inventory are going to be taken up by medicine. Uh, definitely take, like, three shovels. Stack into a little bit of food. Yeah, that actually kind of seems fine. Mm. Yeah, let's be safe. Take three skeleton keys. I'll take two holy water. Medicinal herbs, no. I will take... Actually, no anti-venom. But a stack and a half of torches. 
keys, shovel, torches, and food. We're all covered. I would very much like it if I could get some troubling effigies here so that we can interact with them using the holy water in order to give po uh, positive quirks to a couple of these characters because they're all low level and like... Our land is remote and unneighbored. Every lost resource must be recovered. Cool, I forgot that I need the blood. For profit? Prophet needs the blood. We're gonna have to get real lucky with our loot here. Otherworldly corruption. I haven't been taking people who need uh, blood, so I forgot. This is really bad. Worst case scenario here, Prophet interacts with it, gets diseased, but the disease is already taken by Crimson Curse. So we can't actually get any other disease. I don't think we can get a negative quirk, but it might loot and give us some um, blood. Oh. Okay, didn't even get scouting here. Yep, we're very much just... You know what? We should also actually turn out the lights Secrets so that we have... Wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Hang on. Masterfully executed. No, we can set this up so a barbaric orb is also... Uh, but I'm turning off the light constantly because I actually want to get increased loot so that I'm more likely to also get some blood. I think low light is going to be less lethal to us than not having the blood. In fact, I don't even think that's in contest. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Yep, that'll get it done. Still got to kill quickly, though, as well, because we need the fights to be short so Prophet doesn't get too starving. So too will resistance. Zoophobia! Wow! I actually didn't even know that was a possible result from that. That's pretty annoying, and it's going to be kind of annoying in this area, but now that you have it... I need to wear a raincoat while we're wet. Probably just keep searching. Oh, there is a bandage interactable here. Forgot about those. Actually, I forgot about those and I forgot about the herself. ones that give you slow draw, the webbed trunks. Alright, I'll double stun the backliners because they're both stress dealers and stress is like the most terrifying thing to us right now. Okay. I think we just yawp these frontliners. We'll actually probably roll the second chance to stun the cultist acolytes in the back line here with Krevico. Uh, we've got, what, 130, so about a 55% chance per. No, if I throw the plague grenade, all we need is an iron swan from the hellion with vine. Almost, almost. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Since the first Cultist Acolyte tried to act first, it, it died and moved the other Cultist Acolyte forwards. And as soon as they moved forwards, I knew that Mubby would no longer be able to actually take care of them. So I had to kick in some extra early damage because I can't hit line three currently because I don't have either if it bleeds or breakthrough equipped. If I knew I was going to be doing this in low light, I would have brought the Hell's hairpin for the Hellion. And we could have done this as like a low light thing. But no. It had to be impromptu. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforeseen. 
forgiving. The Pop that light directly back out. Thank nature. you very much. And boogeyman. Awesome. Now that's a really good absolution turn. Yeah, look at all that stress heal. Okay. All we need is a nice hit there. Hell yeah. A death by inches. Please, blood. Nope. Success blood? So clearly in view. Nope. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I deserve this. Perhaps this contains the blood? Yeah, no, I uh, I checked actually. For you in particular. I know. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh. I can already feel that I'm going to have to leave this mission early. Or kill Prophet. Whoa. I did not know that the courtyard curios could spawn outside of the courtyard. I thought they were well contained. That's actually super interesting. I wonder if there's any curios that will give us blood that I could have. Unfortunately, we missed our stun on the Cultist Acolyte. The chance must have literally been 5% to miss that as well. That's unfortunate. Hey, if you're going to stress out anyone, Terrorist I suggest Emin. Good choice. Shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Emin is the person who is most readily capable of dealing with the stress. Especially because we don't have a stress healer in the party. Nice resist on the... Continually oh, never mind. Unslot. Of course, you resist every Boy, disease. Them all. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Get a party heal off there. Just seems useful. Kathom! Whoa! I was really hoping that was going to be the kill. Oops. That'll the get it though. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Uh, Courtyard Curios. I need to know if there's any way I can interact with this that might end up giving me blood. Because I know there's niche interactions with some of them. Okay. So, literally the only interaction is use a torch uh, for stress heal. Oh, no. If you loot it, you can possibly get the blood. All right, we're just going to be straight up looting it then. Nice. Or you can spawn a fight. Well, hopefully this fight gives me some blood. <laughs> I've made a horrible mistake. All right. Doesn't really change what we're going to do. I hate that that resisted. So 80 versus 20. What on top? What on top? It's your base chance. Uh, 110. Okay, so 30. So it's 50. It's 50-50 to hit them. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Oh, God. Yep, there's another Crimson Cursed party member. <laughs> oh no. Well, another? No, you managed to resist it. I really appreciate that, bud. Okay, one sycophant down. Two sycophants down. Now we're just going to beat up this supplicant. 
Press digitation doesn't crit. Excellent. Um, we're going to have to move the vessel back manually so that... Oh, no! Emin can actually use Absolution from that line. Excellent. Emin, just do that then. And we're not going to be, you know, particularly expedient about our destruction of the supplicant in the front line. It's okay. There's... We can take our time. We'd like to get a little bit of the stress down there. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're fine. Get another absolution out there, and then I'm feeling like the end of the fight should be upon us. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Nice. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. And I'll go for self-healing buff. Got a Baron's invitation, but it didn't get any blood. Brought low and driven into the mud. Definitely don't need this much food, by the way. Let's resort our party and have Prophet try and loot this. Oh no, we got diseased with nothing. Of course we couldn't have got this either. Actually... Alright, I think I'm gonna rest in here and then turn the light out. Yeah. Rest in here for Feast's Worth. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. We have nighttime ambush prevention courtesy of Prophet here. Uh, Emin is already extraordinarily fast, so the quickening isn't necessary. We could take Battle Trance for the plus 25% damage in position one. It's not necessary at all either. Self only. Oh, accuracy and stress. Um, I can't remove Crimson Curse from any of the other characters using leeches, so definitely forget about that. I think we actually don't even have that many things that are useful. So we'll pass around the Ancestor's Scroll while we try and encourage. And then we've got Sanctuary for Nighttime Ambush Prevention. Anyone got a one cost? No. Nope. All right, we're done. The light, the promise of safety. Which will immediately pop back off. Glittering Oops. gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. Yep, two puzzling trapezohedron. You know what? I'm actually going to throw those three torches as well. Uh, two puzzling trapezohedron now fit into one space. That is so, so much easier to carry around. Makes life a lot better. I should probably just be running all of my low light, uh, low light dungeons, my low level dungeons in low light. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Mm -hmm. Yep, wasting is a problem. Oh, crumbs. Come on. Come on. We need to kill the sycamore real quickly here. One sycamore down. Cool. Gatekeeper. Yeah, gatekeeper next. The manservant might try and dart. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Well, I'm just going to have to make my way through that. Ugh, you had to crit. That's 36 stress. Yeah. 79% chance misses. Uh, I can only actually do anything this turn if I transform as Emin. Uh, 
I hate that so much. That manservant. Ugh. Well, that actually worked out in the end. The blight was necessary on the mainline target. Nine. And then Gatekeeper is stunned, but they're going to try and get away as soon as they take an action. So that blight guarantees their death. Got a little bit more self-healing in there. Why don't you? Another invitation. No These blood. These creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Nothing of interest in there. Would have taken slow draw. Oh, look, a collector. The puzzling traps are here, and the collector drops. It's going to stack with the one that we already have, which is nice. Yeah, we were fairly reliably going to be stunning them first round there. Hmm? We'll see how likely we are for next round. What's that? So 35, 35, 25% chance to stun. Still worth rolling. Nice! Oh, the collector might not actually summon anything before they die. It's always a fun fight to have. Yeah, that's going to be one dead collector. Just going to do that to deal the damage just in case the collector tried to go next. It was unlikely, but just in case. As the ghoulish collection scatters, the rats prepare to feast. Yep, second puzzling trap is a hedron. Stacks on top, no prob. Ugh, damn. We can double stun the back line. The problem is dealing damage to them. That's why I'm really annoyed that flight didn't. Destroyed. Past your turn? Yeah, all right. Gosh. I hope we don't lose profit, but I'm going to try and finish the dungeon. There's going to be a lot of characters lost in a very short period of time, I'll tell you what. Well struck. Be gone, fiend. Mm -hmm. Stressful incantation. Tell you what, it's doing its job well. Damn, Cytokinesis sucks. Gotta immediately pop that light off. Dark is their ally. Yes, I'm well aware, but uh, kind of need it to help us out for a bit here. Another one falls. Alright. Nice self heal, and then the Ectoplasm dies on its turn. Oh, yeah. This expedition at least promises success. Let's throw the antidote away, and then. On blood! Ah! It's all I want. I'm just waiting because at all times I'm kind of expecting. But, oh, and that character's dead. Now it must be carried home. Uh, bleed resist is the highest we want here, right? Okay, still on profit. A fortune waiting to be spent. Not enough. Ooh, we've moved a lot with them in the wasting state right now. Feeling extremely uneasy. Oh my god, that final hallway. We actually need to go all the way to the exact final hallway. Oof. Okay, no time. No! Yeah, wow. Wait, this is a quest location. 
but nothing else is. So that means that final room is a quest location uh, with a battle. Oh, well, it doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be a battle. But it means that the quest location is in that absolute final room. So they've gotten to do... They've gotten us to do absolutely as much, as much of the map as they possibly could have. That is wild. Okay. Well, that kind of trivializes the damage we'd kicked in just prior to that, but okay. Making sure to immediately pop that light back off. No thank you, no siree, no light for me. fungal scratch it down means that the fungal artillery is so much less annoying. Now it's in the second position. First position has 15 uh, protection, but probably should have just been an absolution there. Yeah. Definitely should have just been an absolution. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay. Vall of powerful medicines. Have to throw those torches basically at this point. Gosh. Yes. A handsome reward for a task well performed. And we're out of shovels already. Without tools of iron, you some must more stress. Flesh and Emin resolves the as vigorous. Yes, excellent work, Emin. We're gonna have to again try and loot this in low light. Summon some enemies. Maybe the throw up is going to be enough to take out the gatekeeper in the next round. Wow. Whew. I did not think we were capable of doing that on an enemy that has 20% protection, but apparently we are. <laughs> yeah, that's more what I was expecting. Yeah, you're super stressing out the party. Please don't die, at least. No. Good lord. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. We've three invitations, Baron. But no blood. I'm going to roll out a bunch of damage here because I really need the enemies to die quite quickly. Uh, otherwise, profits in danger. It's fine. They get two actions on their frontliners. One of their backliners gets exactly one action and then dies. Another one is pretty close. As well as has lowered blight resist, so I can easily just do the yuck it up at them. Such a terrible assault. Big amount of damage. Doesn't get us on death's door, at least, though. Nice. Just heals yourself for three. Thank you, Emin, the second. Oh, 
I was certain that fungal artillery was dead already. Oh well, that's my bad. I screwed that up. Precision and power. Yeah, let's uh, let's roll a heal out there. I don't want to suddenly lose someone. That would kind of suck. Speaking of suddenly losing someone, we're probably going to, but yeah, whatever. Okay, I'll accept that pass turn. I try and change what I can. I can't change how I came into this mission and the fact that I already screwed that up. What I can do is change how I play. That's why I'm not really getting down on myself here. Push on to the task's end. Looking for loot at the bottom of the fountain. Yeah, quest location, so. Uh, unfortunately, the, the, the fact of the matter is that Prophet could die literally during the boss fight. The foolhardy alike. You got a buff from that? I thought the people that have Crimson Curse get cursed when you give them the holy water. That was like the whole point of that. Backliner is extremely close. To di nice. Got the backliner down in the first round. And then one of the four liners. Nice. Literally just need one action in the next round. We're fine. Well, this isn't the character that has the action that I wanted. So it's going to take a couple. Where is this? Although now we are technically done. Back to the there we go. Pit. Ah, I did get Onyx as well. All right. Oh my God. We don't actually even have to do a combat. Oh, thank heck. All right. We got it. We also actually got three Baron's invitations. Those could be handy. These medicines will prevent the outbreak of epidemic at our struggling hamlet. 1400. It was only two slots. Hell yeah. And we also get another five deeds for completing that. That's fair enough. Diurnal, diurnal, dark temptation for negatophobia. Well, the last two I need to remove. Diurnals I don't really care about. Spirit fuel is actually quite good uh, on a Hellion. Not something I would lock in, but still nice the preponderance of rare and exotic injuries makes this place perfect for the study of suffering and because it is we've the caregivers convention among the visiting delegation are experts in corporeal and cognitive disability as well as several forensic specialists so we're going to be able to lock a lot of people in here and lock their things out and lock them in for free uh, for the moment though my name is from Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Darkest Dungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.